Hey, what's going on? My name is Harrison, and this is going to be an Unreal Engine 4 C++ tutorial on how to shoot a line trace on fire. So right now, let's go ahead and look at the final product. Every time we fire, we're shooting a green line trace out of the gun, and we are logging to our screen what we're hitting and a few and a couple other relevant information. So. Again, you don't have to watch the video. There should be a GitHub link and a blog post down in the description below. But if not, then let's continue with the video. Let's delete this from the uh, main character and let's recreate it in C++. Okay, so all of our code is gonna go into our character CPP file. I'm using the standard Unreal Engine first person C++ template. I already have my uh, code editor open, but if you didn't, then you just simply go to file, open your uh, IDE of choice. So I have Visual Studio code, let's go ahead and jump in. Right now I'm in my character CPP file. The first thing we wanna do is include our debug helpers, that header file so we can draw the line. And now let's jump down to our on fire method. Everything's gonna happen inside our on fire method. So right now in the on fire method, we don't need any of the projectile, projectile shooting functions. Uh, so we can just get rid of those. Those what fire the yellow balls out of the gun. Okay, so let's make it happen. Uh, first we want our hit result, which will be a F hit result. And we'll name that hit, or I'll call it out hit. Next, we want to start the vector somewhere. So let's do an F vector, call that start. This will be the start of the line trace. And it's going to be FP gun. So we're getting the gun component because we want to shoot the vector out of the gun component. Get component location. Uh, next, we'll want to get the forward vector from the camera. We're doing the camera instead of the gun because the gun, I don't think is, I'm, I'm not sure where, but the camera is always facing where we want the line trace to start. So let's go ahead and get our forward vector. And we're going to grab the first person camera component. Um, arrow operator get forward vector uh, next we want to end our line trace and we'll just create the end variable and what we're going to do we're going to go forward vector times a thousand again you can make it whatever you want if you want a longer line trace and that's plus start. So we're going from the start position to a thousand unreal units away from the start position and that's where we'll end the line trace. Let's make a quick F collision parameters, an F collision query params variable. Oh, F collision. F collision, no, I don't want it. F collision query params. We'll just call it collision params. Now let's go ahead and draw our debug line. Call it get world. Start variable, end variable. Give it a color. We'll color it green and just call it true so it doesn't uh, go away after it's drawn. So, um, let's just create another variable called bool uh, is hit. I guess that'll be. So is hit, so this will be if we hit something, if we're successful in drawing, the, if the line trace hits something. And that'll be git world, uh, arrow operator, line trace single by channel, out hit, that's our F hit result that we declared up above. Start it, end it. Uh, we'll do ECC visibility. We'll do collision params. And end it. Uh, 
So if that is successful, what do we want to do? Um, so if that's successful and if out hit is a blocking hit, if blocking hit is true, then let's log out some information. So all of that, that's pretty much it. But right now we're just gonna log out some information. So I'll just do this as quickly as possible. Add on screen debug message. Negative one, up here for a second. Let's color this red, uh, F string. We want to do. We want to print f. Ah, text. You are hitting. And what are we hitting? We're gonna get the name of the actor that we hit. It's gonna be out hit get uh, get actor name. Or is it, it's get actor then get name, I think. Uh, let me double check. Get actor get name. So hopefully that's successful. I'm going to copy it a couple more times just to get some more information on what we hit. Um, impact point. Let's go ahead and get the impact point. And how we're going to do that? Uh, it's going to be out hit dot impact point to string. We we'll out hit dot uh, dot impact point dot to string. Let's go ahead and get the impact normal as well. Ah, uh, impact normal, and I'll be the same thing as above, I believe. Out hit dot impact normal dot two string, and that and that should be it. So let's see if it compiles, see if it's successful, and then that'll be it. All right, so it's not successful. Let me check out the logs. Um, I missed that. Oh, typo. My bad. Not uppercase, but this FP gun. Let's compile. Just narrow down the errors a little bit. If hit result does not have an overloaded member operator, and that's in line one sixty. Oh, that's my bad. Not an error operator, but that, there we go. Let's see what else we have. Syntax error on line 164. That should be pretty simple. Uh, 164. Okay, now it should compile successful, and we should be good to go. All right, compiled. Let's play it. Now you can see we're shooting off and we're getting everything logged out to the console. Let's escape out. I don't like using the same colors, so let's just go blue, green, save it, compile. Now play. Alright, and that should be it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.